Hi everyone, myself Harsha. You are watching Harsha Trainings, and in today's video, I am going to tell you about what is class group and what is work pool. So many Pega developers they have a lot of confusion among these two because the class group is the work class. Usually, it is having the organization class and an application class and a work class which gets inherited from work dash or work dash cover dash classes and this is the class where in which the work object gets created so every work object that gets created should be an instance of one of the class groups that are available and this class group when it is being added into the access group so in the access group advanced tab we see a term called work pool under the work pool if you click the down arrow you will get all class groups so you choose a class group in the access group advanced tab that is being called as work pool. So now many people have confusion. So why this class group is being referred as work pool when it is being added into class uh, access group. So the reason being a class group is going to have case type uh, classes under uh, this particular class group. That is let's say we have a class group called SBI. Uh, SBI insurance hyphen insurance under this we can have health insurance and we can have home insurance and we can have uh, like uh, auto insurance like this there may be different types of insurances all these uh, different work types which we used to call in long back but now case types all these different case types plus class group all these together are going to be referred as work pool so your insurance is a, now a work pool where it has three different lines of uh, business processing. One is auto insurance, another one is home insurance, another one is like health insurance like this. So a class group plus all the case types together is called as work pool and a class group is the one where in which the work object gets instantiated and created. So that is the difference. I will show you the same in the video about what is class group and what is work pool watch this video now guys if you like our videos and the content so uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel like the video and post your questions uh, in the comment section below and if you are attending any interviews and if you find any complex scenario based questions and all don't feel hesitate to post the questions below in the comment section we are always uh, like happy to help you to uh, give you the or to deliver you the best knowledge so let's get on to the laptop to see the current video see here if you are going to work on prvc you need to create rules inside classes but it is not one single class there are n number of classes there are n number of classes that you need to create we have data classes, we have organization class, division class, work class, framework work class, integration classes, this and all we have used. Correct? Now, in the interview, they will be asking you a question. What is your application class structure? See, it is every one of you while you are going to your uh, interviews, you need to make sure that you write down your class structure. Okay, I will tell you. We created our application, right? Framework and implementation application. In that, we have so many classes. When they ask you about class structure, you need to tell about what are the different layers or levels of classes that you have. Simply telling you, organization class, division class, and framework work class inheriting from work dash cover dash. Organization class, division class, implementation work class, inheriting from framework work class two levels three levels are complete organization framework implementation now we have data classes at organization framework and implementation which derives from data dash ODB class and we have integration classes at organization framework and implementation which derives from int dash class and under the implementation class group we have case type classes. This derives from class group. This is overall, this is called class structure. There is nothing much. What is your class structure? Different levels of classes. Organization, division, framework work class, organization, division, implementation work class, 
implementation work class derives from framework work class framework work class derives from work class cover dash okay and after that data and integration classes at each level of organization implement framework implementation which derives from data dash and int dash respectively and under implementation work class we have case types which belongs to class group all this together is class structure that's it you don't go to any other youtube channels or any other blogs because they made it complex to understand this is very simple easily you can understand everyone clear makes sense all of you online okay next step see here if you go to operator id hold on okay i'll tell you one more technical aspect and after that i can get into your resume preparation and tell you roles and responsibilities okay see if you go to operator profile in the operator profile you have access group in the access group advanced tab you see here class group is there but it is not mentioned as class group it is mentioned as work pool it is saying more than one work pool means you can have one more class group here out of all these one should be default see class group is the one under which you define case types when operator login he will get create menu under create menu you will see case type 1 case type 2 case type 3 he can create n number of cases see we can have more than one class group work class is one class group work one can be there under work one you can create different case types under work you create different case types class group is instance of work instance class of work objects that you are aware of then your class group under that you have case type under the class group you have case types i will log in to our application so that you will see that just hold on where is it dev impl at the right So under the class group, you have case type. I created only one case type, parent case type. If I have two more case types, like under this one, auto insurance, health insurance, and home insurance, three different types of case types are. All the case types plus class group is equal to work pool. Work pool means different types of works. Auto insurance is one type of work. Home insurance is another type of work. Health insurance is another type of all these work types combinedly under one work class. That is insurance. So all these together we call it a work pool. Class group, when you refer it in access group, which means that class group plus all case types. All the case types access will be given to respect to operator. He can create all the cases. So this is called work pool. So you know the definition of class group. Then class group plus all case types is equal to work pool. Everyone clear? That's why if you go to access group advanced tab, you see a class group by name work pool. In interviews, they will ask you like, what is the difference between a class group and work pool? 95% of people, they don't know. Class group is instance class of work objects. Work pool is the collection of class group plus all case types okay next step see while you are preparing your resume please remember one thing see usually people will copy paste the resumes they take some model resumes as it is they will copy paste which is not a good practice at all see resume preparation minimum you should be able to do you can take the template template of the resume template points rewrite the points in your own language which is understandable to you as well as the interviewer 
that should be true to the best of your knowledge okay don't simply copy paste mainly any resume if you take most of the things you can just uh, take it from existing resumes and rewrite this in your own language projects and everything like uh, and summary you are going to mention some roles like you will you will say that i have an experience of 5 years in total it out of which 3 years of pega experience remaining 2 years 90% people they won't mention but you mention clearly three years if you mention as relevant experience remaining two you should say there so in that same point itself two years of experience in so on so other technology you have to clearly mention under that you, you are going to mention about some of the rules which you have hands on you clearly mention the rules you are confident about having hands on rule one rule two rule three activities data transformation tables hands on experience on so on so rules and learning plus practice experience on so on so rules clearly you mentioned that whichever the rule you find you are not comfortable add it under learning and practice experience but not hands on in the enterprise application see it is possible that in an enterprise application development you will not be working on all rules out of the rules that we have discussed during our training session 35% of the rules you will be regularly working remaining i don't think so you will be working on you never touch the case type creation from scratch you will be adding here and there one or two steps and you never touch creating data types you never do pro application creation you never create rule set versions and all most of the techlets will do that possibility is very less you never do create data types you never create classes in fact very less pretty less you never do configuration of execution of wizard for services connectors you will not do techlets will do that maybe after that activities and all you write you never do creating a file listener you never do creating an agent from the scratch all these you will not get regular chances very few occasions so mostly you will be working on activities data transformation rules declarative rules property sections flow actions flows adding steps that's it so a hands on experience practice experience rules clearly you mentioned there plus have your projects clearly mention your certifications what certifications you have done each certification you mention on top of the resume add the certification logos and mention your achievements apart from the project achievements all these the project you are going to write it should be known to you for functionally that is another key point and apart from these things what else you mention in your resume roles and responsibilities most important thing. see many people when they write their resume the roles and responsibilities suppose you take java resume they write like they have worked on strings uh, i mean like uh, structs spring hibernate and maybe uh, jsp some of the things servlets these are the different things they will mention in roles and responsibilities and when you come to pega they mention it like i worked on activities decision rules declarative rules again you mentioned all these things above in the profile summary but actually these are not roles and responsibilities as a developer you will be working on all the rules roles and responsibilities are the day to day activities that you perform in your organization as a developer who is working on scrum methodology mostly typically will have will be playing these roles and responsibilities not as a lead as a senior developer or junior developer you will be analyzing the business requirement analyzing the business requirement that is a role you are playing okay and apart from this you will be involved in involved in development defect fixing bug fixing all these tasks you will be doing as a developer these are your roles and responsibilities you will be involved in daily status or stand up calls with business analyst and team team members daily status calls and daily stand up calls you will be involved that is what one of the role you are playing and also here you can add defect tracking defect tracking and 
supporting the project teams the deployment teams during code deployment days this is also another responsibility that you are going to take and involved in unit testing of application for its functionality this is another role and moreover involved in peer reviews yesterday someone was asking right peer review peer review of other development you are going to review whether it is correct or not best practices are for being followed or not so these are your roles in the scrum it is not that you create activities all of our model resumes in the resumes you have creating activities like that no one has written like this and also involved in internal internal team meetings and preparing mom minutes of meeting document so this is also another responsibility you are taking this is also another role you are playing so as a developer you not work only on development tasks you will be involved in so many other tasks in your day to day work life these are the points which you need to mention as roles and responsibilities i am going to copy paste it in the chatting window all of you to all of you copy it and keep it with you and if you want to add more roles and responsibilities that you remember or that you are playing you can add that is up to you understand everyone online resources are you there no one is responding so this is what about roles and responsibilities